Okay guys, hello, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you are having a great night. So we are back with another Instagram Live for you guys, exclusively, humbly coming at you from Slanguage One. I'm going to be joined with Danila from uh, Bosnia, actually. She's an American English teacher. And we will be covering some American accent tips and tricks in order for you guys to have a great experience of picking up real American accent. Let's get right into it, guys. So I'm waiting for Danila to show up, guys. So I, I totally understand that it's been a while. It's been a long time since we have been on Instagram Live. So, but we made a comeback here, guys. We made a comeback and we are going to be actually providing a very highly sophisticated, high quality American English course for you that is going to be all about American content, real American content that literally will boost your English to the top. So, uh, as far as American accent, I'm not going to actually get into a lot of details right now because I'm going to save the talk uh, for me and Danila to go through this. And then we will get right into uh, the content that we have provided and we have actually prepared. So let's get right into it. Hello, Danila. How are you doing? Hi. Hi, Ali. I'm doing fine. How are you? Great. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome that you are doing great. Uh, let me turn off the commenting real quick before we get into it. I didn't even know you could do that. Uh, yeah, we could, we could actually literally do that. Okay, so how, how is everything? How is everything in Bosnia? Are you in Bosnia, by the way, right now? No, I'm not in Bosnia. I'm in Switzerland. <laughs> oh, Switzerland. Okay, majestic yeah, I... landscape and stuff. You know, everything is beautiful. Green spaces, great outdoors and everything. You have no idea. It's just, like, breathtaking. I, uh, I got to rest a lot, not even trying to rest, you know, so... Yeah. You just, just can't fun. help but sightseeing, actually. You can't help but sightseeing. You just got to put yourself out there and explore everything around the city, right? Yeah, and I, when I work, I work indoors, right? And my room, my house, my living room, that's my office. And in Bosnia, whenever I go out, I just see this place that I'm used to. And it doesn't make me that excited. But um, since I got here, like, like, what, a month ago? Every time I get out for a little short walk, for, for a little stroll just to relax, is different environment. And then it just makes you feel so... So environment change is something that I definitely recommend to people if they are, they're feeling, I don't know, um, stressed or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. People can loosen up in there. But as you know, not many people actually can afford to go to Switzerland for actually multiple reasons. Okay, anyway, no. uh, actually good to have you there, by the way. Thank uh, you. As you, know, as you know, we're going to be digging into uh, American accent tips and tricks. Yeah. We're going to facilitate the process of learning, picking up mm -hmm. the right accent for our learners and for those prospective English learners out there who are watching this Instagram live. And I really want us to up the ante, just go, up, go all out of our ways and really do the best we can to actually teach them whatever we know, by the way, within a very time limit, I will have probably around like one hour to cover all the stuff. Let's get right yes. into it. <laughs> that's enough. Uh, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, that would be enough. All right, sure. Uh, let's get into didn't, okay? So there are multiple ways of pronouncing it. First off, I'd like to know your two cents on didn't. How to pronounce didn't correctly? Are there any uh, like you know, special ways to pronounce it? How American people actually tend to say it? Uh, we're going to be actually talking about that. Okay, please. Yeah, so before I start explaining it, I would, love, I, I would love to say that when Americans and, like, non-Americans but native speakers pronounce words, and the way they pronounce them, if they're a native speaker, they don't really think about how they pronounce them. It's just an sure. automatic thing, right? But when it comes to learning, um, I wouldn't... Today we're going to talk about how to pronounce words and all these letters and when we drop them, when we don't, and all that stuff. But I... I would definitely suggest people to learn using examples, not the rules, because the more they Absolutely. use the rules, the, the more confused they get, and it just doesn't help, right? But when it comes to didn't, right, you just had didn't. Like, pronouncing T in this word is totally fine, right? Yeah. So it's not a mistake. But the way we say it, it's like didn't, didn't. And we don't didn't. even pronounce the T at the end, right? And that's not the only word where we don't, don't pronounce a T letter. We drop it. We just... Pfft, it's not there. Um, we have to write it because that's how we write stuff. Did not, right? But even when we say not, we don't say not. We say not, not, yeah. did not, right? So that's where didn't comes, comes from. Like did not, All right. didn't, 
Right. Yes. So okay, that was don't a... pronounce the last word, but use the mm sound to yeah. make yourself sound American if you want to. <laughs> yeah, that definitely sums it up. And uh, as far as, but before actually we get deeper into this, uh, do you really think picking up the right American accent is important? Because there's a lot of actually uh, controversy in terms of, uh, because there are a lot of people out there who say that, okay, you need to learn uh, the accent first and then go for fluency. So actually, no. uh, accent comes first, or fluency comes first. I, I, actually, I'd like to know your, your two cents on it. And I, I want you to tell me what your thoughts on this is. Which one is more important, fluency or accent? Which one comes first? Okay, so uh, fluency. Why? Okay, let's imagine, let's imagine you have um, $20,000. And you see, so twenty thousand dollars is a big, big amount of money. And then you walk down the street and you see a, a jacket or a bag. Let's say a bag of that, that costs twenty thousand dollars, and you buy it. So you do yeah. own a twenty thousand dollar bag, but you have no money in it. That's yeah. like having doing the accent first and then fluency. It's like you got the accent, you sound American, but you don't know how to express yourself and you don't know how to speak to people. And when they speak to you, your vocabulary just sucks. So basically having, working on accent first would mean buying a $20,000 bag without having yeah. any money in it. So it's a total big no, big no. So okay, so as according to, yeah, okay, I got it. And uh, so you're saying that fluency comes first over and above everything, and then uh, action actually comes secondary. All right. Um, so how about there's this guy actually who is willing to learn English, okay? As you know, there's millions of references out there. There's a lot of actual Instagram profiles out there they can dig into. There's a lot of millions of websites they can actually check up on. And there's a lot of things actually they can get themselves exposed to. But when it comes to the real content, the real American content, you know, this is something that is kind of few and far between. It's not like easily found. All right. Mm. So, uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to learn English. There's accents, uh, there's idioms, there's general terms, and there's, uh, you know, a lot of other things around it. Okay. So which one do you have to focus on? Do you have to focus on mainly general terms and then get into slang and idiom? Or which one do you think comes first? Learning the general language of actually how, people, how American people talk or learning the slangs or idioms actually are important. Which one is number one priority? If you want me to be 110% honest, all of it. But how? Yeah. How? Well, people make a huge mistake by following only English teachers on Instagram, on YouTube, and so on. They think that English teachers would teach them the real, everyday American English. No. We, a lot of, like me, I'm avoiding grammar. I'm trying to avoid grammar as much as possible. Even when I explain grammar, I don't explain it the way I would explain it to teachers who yeah. need to know it. I avoid explaining yes. grammar. I just use examples, yes. a lot of examples. But uh, all these students, like most of them, they just follow teachers, teachers, teachers. And all they learn yeah. is, like, ter grammatical terms, you know, because yes. not every yes. single teacher does the same thing that I do. You know, so actually, um, I how how to find a way to learn everything that we just mentioned at once. Mm -hmm. You find real Americans that have nothing to do with yeah. teaching, right? Like you find people who are not teachers, and who are these people? YouTubers, right? Yeah, you have absolutely. YouTubers who just who just make daily vlogs. We yes. there's a reason we call them daily vlogs. They're not English vlogs. Their yes, daily vlogs. So that's their daily life. And when they do these vlogs, they don't think about the way they use English. They just use it naturally, yes. automatically, American or British. Okay. There are British YouTubers too. So I would suggest everyone to to subscribe to American or British YouTubers um, YouTube channels. That's that's yeah. the biggest thing. So when you watch their videos. You get to hear everything from pronunciation to vocabulary to idioms to phrasal verbs to yeah. the way uh, intonation. You know, when they get mad, they get real mad. It's not fake mad. Because when teachers yes. teach people how to express yes. themselves when they're mad, teachers have to act. Like, oh, I'm so angry. This is acting, right? But when yeah. you watch real YouTubers, yes. there's... There's no acting there. It's real life. So you get to learn how to use intonation in certain um, situations without even trying to learn it. Your brain just picks it up. 
That's yes. So YouTubers, yes, that's absolutely. Number, number one, I would start from there. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. And that uh, really is the case. I'm still learning English. A lot of people actually yeah. mess up the the whole thing. They just fixate on one single individual teacher and then go all the way with that. They do not explore actually anything around them uh, because it's only a matter of actually watching YouTube videos. You need to expose yourself to as many American content as you possibly can in order to pick up the feeling. You need to get the feel for it. The it's feeling. not like something like automatic or mechanical that you can pick up. It is something that needs to like stay in your mind forever, and it's it's not going to actually be feasible. It's not going to be feasible. Okay. Unless... All right, guys. So we seem to be back online. Uh, I'm super sorry about the inconvenience. As you know, it's the internet, and there's nothing we could do about it. So, Danila, if you are there, please, would you please go back online so we can have you here? Yeah, I would appreciate it. Okay, Danila, you there? What's happening? Mehdi, what's happening? You don't know what's happening, buddy? You don't know what's happening, homie? It's the internet. <laughs> Sorry. You so know, this is pretty, <laughs> this is pretty, you know, textbook in Iran. You know, it's definitely textbook in Iran to have the internet actually to be intermittent all the time. Okay, never mind. Let's just get through I'm it. So, I'm all right. Um, I'm so, I thought it was me that I went live asking everyone what's going on and I waited for somebody to tell me that you're back. And they were like, he's back and then I'm back now, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, good to have you here. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry yeah. for the inconvenience though. It's All okay, right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so let's go ahead, let's pronounce the ending T as, as explicit as we possibly can to... Okay. Okay, go on, you know the drill. All right. So um, you, we, we, you said previously, like, would it be okay for me to go live all the time with other people, with other teachers, or just post videos and gain audience like that? First of all, um, I don't think it's about gaining audience. It's about uh, sharing the knowledge. And the more knowledge you share, the better it is for everyone, including you. So I think both ways would be great. So don't only focus on one part of it, right? Um, and f for example, live sessions, right? Uh, if you go often very live, uh, if you go, <laughs> if you go live very often, it happens. It happens. <laughs> it's like my beat hearts. Um, it's fine. It's fine. But, um, it depends on how hard it is for you to edit, edit your videos. Mm -hmm. So, um, if, I, if it's too hard, if it takes, if it's time consuming, you should definitely focus on live sessions, but with posting videos. That way you help everyone, right? Okay, great. So do you have any comments on, or do you have any um, kind of, you know, tricks in order to master the American R? Do you know how to actually, can you teach us how to uh, pronounce it like very clearly, very meticulously, very like yeah. intricate? Yeah, okay, repetition. Repetition. That's, yeah. So isn't there any technique to it? Well, so basically you have to, like, let me tell you something. Our brain is a sponge, no matter how old we are. When we're kids, we got a sponge here. When we're adults, we got a sponge here. But the, thing, the difference is that when we're kids, the sponge works faster. And when we're adults, it goes slower, which doesn't mean it's impossible to master it. So you will find kids mastering R before adults do, right? Um, because they just, and what do kids do? This is this is a thing. What do kids do to master the pronunciation? Nothing. They just listen and copy it as many times as possible until they sound the same. So they they, they don't kids don't take the books, notebooks, okay, R sounds like you no know, put your tongue back a bit, all those rules and stuff. Kids don't do that. So we should follow the kids. Listen and copy. Even if it sounds wrong for the first twenty days. It's okay. Listen to it and copy it, right? Yes. Oh, by the way, here, I dropped my T again. Listen to it. Copy it. Like, I don't say it. Yeah, so, absolutely. guys, keep... <laughs> okay, uh, but uh, to elaborate on that a little bit, actually, so you are right. In these, the, the entire process of English learning should be intuitive, and you need to learn it actually intuitively without any efforts. So it, it yes. needs to be... It needs to actually occur effortlessly, I understand, but for those who actually want to, uh, you know, take up 
learning English, we, there are some techniques actually to facilitate the process of, to expedite the process of mastering like those techniques. For example, when it comes to the American R, so it's, uh, it's a case of, you know, curling back your tongue, okay, curling back yes. your tongue, and uh, put a lot of pressure around here, these muscles, because there is over like 30, anywhere between 30 to 40 muscles all over your yep. face. It's all about like contracting the muscles around here, this area, and then you curl back your tongue, and then you actually say the uh, er, 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 rock, or rel, real. Okay, so do you think uh, lips need to pucker up before pronouncing when we have the uh, R sound at the beginning of the word? Do you think you know, we need to pucker up or it's okay to not pucker up and just say the initial R? It depends on which word we're pronouncing, right? So let me... Okay, for example, it. rock. Okay, rock, rock. Rat, well, I'm not... My lips are not moving. Uh, you can see it. Like, my lips are just rock. You say rock. It's like just... Nah. So... It could be definitely, Natural. definitely relaxed. Rock, rabbit. Um, it's just your tongue working, doing the stuff inside, right? So your lips are barely moving when you say R at the beginning, like rock, rabbit, uh, responsibility. As you can see, it's all relaxed. No move, no. And if you do that, it's just for fun. I, I guess I don't know. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah, actually, when we want to emphasize what we're saying is that we definitely pucker up or protrude our lips. But there is this a very slight, like, you know, protrusion when it comes to the lips. Because you can ask that rock, rock. There needs no, to no, be actually this kind of rock. protrusion. Rock, that hmm. would be really, you know, kind of a natural. So rock, real. Okay, so uh, what about ul, ul, ul sound? Okay, so how do you oh, pronounce so it? Ul sound. Hmm. I need a few examples. Give me a few words. Okay, I'm a student. Okay, I'm a student. Okay, I'm a student, and you're going to be teaching me how to actually pronounce R or L. Okay, I want you to actually tell me how I can go about uh, it. Yeah. So, well, different words, um, they, they require different, different mouth positions and all that stuff. So, if you say language, as you can see, your language. mouth kind of a bit, they don't open for, like, language, of course, but it's <laughs> language. Your mouth just take yeah. a smiley form there, language, right? Um, but there are words when, where you use L and you don't do that stuff. For example, um, give me something with L. Lamp, lamp, right? As you can see, when I say language and lamp, it's just different. It, yeah. So my, when I say lamp, my, my mouth just relaxes more. Not the same way when I say language. Because le and lamp is, um, when you say language and lamp, lamp is way shorter. That's why language requires a bit language, right? So yeah, okay. um, now the difference between R and L. L goes here, right behind your teeth, right here. And mm -hmm. R doesn't. Instead, you're, you, uh, in, in, if you're using the flap T when there's a little R sound in the flap T sound, of course it goes here. Right, but when you are using the R R, it's that's the position of your tongue, right? Er, yeah. R, and that R definitely doesn't match the L sound L here, right? It's totally different. So if you want to learn it that way, if you want to imagine the position of your tongue, it goes like R L R L. That's your tongue. That's what your tongue does, right? But if you want to learn it without any rules, just take. Ten words with L, ten words with R, and try to try to read them. Yeah, actually. So speaking of uh, speaking of R and L, so we are this language one actually is preparing a, a very awesome, incredible accent package where we're going to be teaching our audience every single thing about American accent from zero to hero, and uh, they will <laughs> they will be good. actually they will be actually crushing it. Yeah. Uh, so talking of L and R, so we could say that. L, actually, when it comes to pronunciation of L, the tip of the tongue kind of touches slightly the back of the upper teeth, like le, le, lamp, yeah, or exactly. literal, or, I don't know, a lamb, something like this, all right? And when it comes to R, you simply curl back your tongue a little bit towards the back of your mouth. Back, and not then, front. Yeah, toward the back of your uh, mouth, actually, and then you say er, er, all right? For example, rock, like read, real, rel, and so on. 
speaking of flap tea, let's get into flap tea. Okay,、mm-hmm. this is you know pretty you know、uh, challenging actually for a lot of people.、Yeah. When it comes to Indian people, I'm not actually trying to I'm not actually trying to be a sound sarcastic, or I'm not going to be、mm-hmm. emulating anyone or making fun of anyone. But when it comes to flap tea, for especially for Irene, I'm going to give you a very cool. Tip in order to master it instantly, guys.、Mm-hmm. If you want to flap, if you want to do the flap T,、uh, in Farsi we say "are puro daro." Are are mi dunam are are. See, there's a slight, a very、uh, like rapid movement of the tip of the tongue to the 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 roof of the mouth like this. Are are、yeah. are are. It's a hard palate. Do not say are de.、Yeah. yeah, hard palate. I do not say are de or are. I say. Mm-hmm. Are, are, are. Exactly the same、mm-hmm. thing.、Are. Can you say it again? Are. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I crushed it. <laughs> yeah, nail it, nail it.、What、all right, yeah. So you could say、me? you could simply say, are, are. It means yes. Ah,、uh, yeah, are, are. Okay. <laughs> are, 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 are. No problem. No problem, my friend. <laughs> all right. So this is <laughs> this is called the actually flap to you guys. So. Uh, yes. For example, if you want to say "it is," we do not say "it is" or "it is." It is. It's a very rapid movement. It is. It is. It is. Or out of, out of, out of.、Yes. Do not say out, out of. of or do not say out of. It's a very quick, like out of, out、yeah. of, out of. Many、right, people,、so. many people mix the flat T with D sound, like they say water.、Yeah. There's no water.、Yeah. It's water. It's you know, and there's no. Neither,、water. neither is water. No, no. Yeah, some、But、people I mean, tend to say water. Yeah, water. water. <laughs> I'd love to have some. Give me some water. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, I'm so thirsty. Give me some water. Yeah, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> so, thirsty you need to read it carefully. Care, very carefully, please. <laughs> Carefully, carefully, mate. <laughs> my British sucks. My British sucks, but it's okay. Um, yeah, many people like、uh, mistake the flap T for D or or T, and and I mean T is more acceptable, but like D, definitely not. You know, it's a, two different sounds. Now the thing is that、uh, I think when it comes to pronunciation lessons, I I respect and admire all these methods. That that help people improve their pronunciation, but I still stand with a copy paste thing, which is called、uh, how do we call the shadowing? Shadow. Yeah. Right. So, my, for example, I never planned on learning Chinese. This is my real life tip. This is what really works. I never planned on learning Chinese, especially not the pronunciation. Especially not that part. Now、um, I know how to say a sentence. In, I, I, my vocabulary is pretty good, and the way you say sentence in Chinese is "ji zi." Now, when you there's a similar word to "ji zi," and it sounds "ji zi." Now I think you you cannot even distinguish the difference. I couldn't either, but I didn't know that this little sound makes the whole word sound different. Like. Mean there's a different meaning to it, right? Yeah, and sure. And I never took I never took the rules to learn how to pronounce both. I just I, I was like I just asked a lot. I asked a lot of my friends like, what's jitsu? What's jutsu? How do you say it? You say it. Can I copy it, please? I I I just want to hear you say you say it. I'll just copy it. That's it. That's what I did a lot. And then my Chinese got to the next level. Now I know I distinguish these sounds. So the the fastest way to pr- to to master pronunciation is actually shadowing. If you don't have friends who speak English, you got YouTube. Play a video, repeat it, repeat a certain sentence or five sentences, whatever. So this is something that works the fastest. But if you want to take your time, yeah, definitely take these. How do you call them?、Uh, methods, pronunciation methods. That that would help you, but this is what works for me. For example, in Chinese. Yeah, exactly. And for those who truly believe that learning American accent or or learning real American accent is really difficult, I gotta say that. Speaking of Chinese, though,、uh, in Chinese there are two、mm. different sh sound, two different j and two different ch sound. Okay. For example, they say. Yes. Yes.、Uh, for example,、uh, they say na liang qi qi chi. So they say qi. It's actually the 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 sound is generated from the tip of the、uh, actually in the front teeth like chi chi na liang chi chi and then it goes further on the back and turns into chi so chi chi. 
For example, no, that yeah, car hold on. is a rat. You're for loading example. again. Nalian qi chi. Oh, really? Yes. So I'm breaking up. <laughs> oh, but I wow, got you. you mastered it. Exactly. So that's. I couldn't oh, distinguish delay. it. There's before. a lot of delay. Oh uh, wait, you're you're loading. You hear? Yes, you of hear course me? I do. I do. Yes, of course I do. But there's okay. a little bit of delay Perfect. here. All right, so let me okay, get back I'll, into I'll it. Okay, I'll join again. Hold on. I'll rejoin. دوستان در مورد فلپتی که توضیح دادیم زمانی که یک حرف بی صدا در واقع زمانی که تی و یا دی میاد بین دو طرف صدادار قرار میگیره اون تی یا دی که میتونه مثلا دو تا تی یا دو تا دی باشه میتونه به صورت فلپتی یا همون ر تلفظ بشه پس ما نمیگیم مثلا اتیتود میگیم اتیتود مثل آره برو درو اره اتیتود 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 نکته خیلی مهمیه خیلی ها نمیدونن تکنیکش چیه و معمولا میگن اتیتود یا اتیتود حواستون باشه که در واقع پس زمان که یک تی یا دی یا دو تا تی یا دو تا دی میاد بین دو تا حرف صدا دار حتما شما اون رو به صورت فلپ تی تلفظ بکنه فلپ هم یعنی همون یک در واقع ضربه خیلی لحظه ای مثل آره که در واقع گفتیم اوکی سو ام گونا بی هاون دنیلا لایو اگین بت اپرنتلی شی از اکسپریانسن سم تکنیکال فیلیورز هیر از ول Um, okay, guys. Uh, one more thing, one more thing about American accent is that uh, choose a character for yourself. You are a movie freak. You really are into watching movies twenty four seven. You like browsing through YouTube. You like actually searching through Instagram feeds. Whatever it is that you are doing, try to choose and pick out a character. For example, Brad Pitt. I don't know, or Jimmy Fallon, or. Ellen DeGeneres and whoever actually could it be choose a character and then what you're going to be doing is to match your intonation match your accent with that of hers or his it's really important choose a character trying to sound like this kind of virtually gives you some kind of confidence it gives you some kind of confidence in order to actually uh, be uh, more comfortable while speaking so keep also that in mind as it's really important Um, so I don't know what's going on. You were lagging, and then you just all went off. It's it's fine now. It's fine. I hope it doesn't okay. again. <sighs> Let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay, so uh, I was saying when it comes to the learning Chinese, so there are two different che 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 na liang che che. When it comes to yeah, when it comes to she, there are two different che. For example, wo xiang he yi di er dong xi xi xi. It's like she. Dong Xi is Dong yes, Xi, yes. Xi, right? Yes. Or for example, Shi. You want to say I'm a teacher. You could say, um, um, how would you go about that? Uh, I'm a teacher. 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 See, there are two different Shi. Yes. It's some kind of. It's really complicated. It's really intricate, and we cannot like master them. It takes a hell of a lot of time. But when it comes to Jie, actually, they tend to say Jie. For example. Uh, 一架飞机 ，an airplane,、mm. I guess, right? An、yeah. airplane. 一架飞机，机，机，机，机。It's definitely here in the front seat, all right? I'm taking Chinese classes from you. <laughs> oh, really? And then we also have 机 all right? It's 机 It goes further in the back of the mouth, like 机机 For example,、uh, you could say that.、Uh, um, go on, you name it. But, Please you, back me up on that. You, you, for example,、uh, for, we don't have these sounds in, in English. And、of how, course we don't. So how am I supposed to math? I I never even expected mastering them. Let's call it mastering. Like I just heard them and copied them in, in, enough times to be able to do it. You know, I never took any lessons related to this, and it was I it works the fastest. It's just crazy how how good it works. This is exactly what kids do. Like kids don't、yeah. choose their native languages; they just pick up the environment around them. And that, that's why I'm telling, I keep telling this to people. Like guys, if you have a phone, that's enough. You got it all. You can you can perfect make make your languages like whatever language you're learning. You can make it perfect with just having this little thing in your hand. So yeah, and your yeah, Chinese、absolutely. is really good. How did you learn it? Um. Well, it's really you know interesting for you to know that I have learned English all definitely self-taught. I've never had an English teacher whatsoever. 
the same thing the same thing goes for german i know a little bit of german too and a little bit of chinese so everything has been you know self taught but i was at some point actually in the past you know at one point i was really willing to share my knowledge with others that's why i kind of got into and took up teaching english to other people yeah. because my initiation was teaching actually english and i really wanted to share my knowledge with others so i wouldn't get paid actually as much but it was really important for me to kind of make a change uh to those people around me that that was really my number one priority because when you are actually uh enthusiastic about something when you're like passionate about something you just move with your head and you just don't yes. stop and yes. the more you dig into it the more actually doors open in front of you of and it's only a matter of you before actually you know learning the right term because regardless of what kind of scale you really want to take up it's only about practice and repetition the more you practice the more you repeat the more you will, you will be able to hone that skill and then progressively you will kind of improve that skill set so this is what's important but we should not actually put ourselves in a box where we need to actually get feed off of everything that we see around us which we shouldn't be actually sitting in our butts waiting for others to teach us what to do what not to do we just got to you know, take initiative and just get into it you know you have to be passionate enough about it and oh my god So you are telling me that English is is not your first language. When did you start learning it? When? How old were no, you? No, it's not. It's not my first language. I proudly speak Farsi. I proudly speak Farsi. And uh I got to say that I've been teaching English for 10 years now, I guess. Yeah, it's been a little over 10 years. And yeah, here I am. My heart is huge. I'm sorry. You're touched. Yes. Oh my god. This is because I, I I I want to prove it to people. I want to show people that it is possible. You don't have to grow up speaking a language to have it as your I'm not sure how to call this. I mean, I would definitely put you in a group of people who speak English as, as their first language, you know? And it's 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 just mind blowing and I love it. I love it. I I want to get there. I want to be as good in Chinese um as you are in English. It's just Oh, okay. amazing. Thank you very much. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I'm really it's not I'm nothing got a kind. Uh yeah. your English actually is truly like magnificent. So you were you said that you were where were you born and raised in actually? Bosnia. 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 Yeah. So you're originally from Bosnia, right? Originally from Bosnia. True. But like um my but family but is But your English is like your English is through the roof. How come? <laughs> so it's my first language actually. I my Bosnian is like it's I still have to learn it, right? So when I speak Bosnian, right. I need help. I need a lot of help. Um and in, and I translate things from English to Bosnian like literally. Like I say things in Bosnian the way we say them in English and then people are like, "What?" Um so yeah, it's it's a funny story. Half of my family lives in the United States. My parents didn't want us to separate. We they wanted us to stay in contact all the time and teaching like speaking um like primarily english with me was their plan their goal and that's how um that's how i got here you know so well not speaking bosnian you're so well is not a big doing problem. a great job so can you say a piece of bosnian can you say something in bosnian for us yeah sure what would you like like can i what um, i don't know say it's really uh, cold out there okay can i something like that Okay so I okay I'll okay so um ja ko hladno vani ja baš ne volim uh znači toliko ali može proći nema problema <laughs> Nema problema So that I'm that like, sounds like that sounds more me? like Russian right Yes of course I do That sounds like Russian right Yeah sounds like Russian Okay Definitely okay. sounds like Russian definitely it's not the same language okay. but it sounds very similar <laughs> Yeah, pretty much the same. All right, yeah. so uh Danella, let's get into the pronunciation of four. F O R. How do American people pronounce it? Four. Four. Um so like let's compare it to rabbit. Rabbit and four. Um people might not like realize but there's a slight difference between rabbit r and four r. Um rabbit r is more like forced to the back and when you say four it's not that forced it's like going to the front more like going to the back mm. it your mm-hmm. your tongue still goes back but it's like relaxed but when you say rabbit you force it back rabbit right four is like just four 
Like, I, I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. don't push your tongue back too much because if you do, you sound like four, four, and it's, it's not how you want to sound. <sighs> okay. Do they also again. say fur, right? Can you hear me? What's happening? Of course I do. I think it has to do with our internet. Uh, I think it's from our end. I will be back again. Okay, I will be back. No, please, please don't go offline. Okay, just give it time. Give it time. Give it time. Maybe I, I will give be it back. Time. Okay. Give it time. Okay, okay, I'll give, it time. I'll give it time. <laughs> don't go. <laughs> it's just. All right. Okay, I'm giving it all right, time. So. All right. So how about now? How about now? Better. Do you I, hear me? You're clearly? frozen. I don't. Okay, I. No, but you're 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 back now. Can you say something? Sure. Do you it's hear me lagging. now? Lagging. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's not lagging that much, but okay. Okay, it's, it's okay. Okay, it's okay. I think we can uh, settle for it. <laughs> All right. So, do American people also tend to pronounce "for" as "fur"? They kind of they say "fur" for me, for you, for them, for us. Oh. Yeah, yeah, oh, well, that reduction thing, uh, it happens a lot when they speak fast, you know, hmm. so when, like, um, it doesn't, I don't do it a lot, because I, when I started teaching, I, as I told you, I just got to um, control my speaking speed, because I had to do it for my beginner students, so I started doing it less, but songs, music, a lot, a lot, a lot, they do it a lot. Right, that's where you he hear it the most. Um, but in daily language, if you want to be understood, you don't do it a lot, right? So it's for me. For here, it's when you speak to your, like, you know, native English speakers. But when you speak to somebody who just who's just learning English, it's for me. So it's for me, mm -hmm. and it's for me. Both are fine, but this is for more advanced در مورد تلفظ فور در مورد تلفظ فور وقتی که شما یکم سریع صحبت می‌کنید یا روان روان‌تر صحبت می‌کنید در واقع برای به جای فور می‌تونید بگین فور is for you is this for me is this for them فور پس به جای فور همینطور همین مثال رو برای سام داریم که نمی‌گیم سام پیپل نگید هیچ وقت سام پیپل سام بلکه بگین سام پیپل ا سام سام پیپل سامتن سامتن سام پیپل Some of that, some of this, some information. Hop. Please come back online. در مورد تلفظ something دوستان یه توضیح من بدم من جن نوشتم چیزایی که میخوام بگم. در مورد تلفظ something در واقع شما میتونید بگی در حالت عادی something. هیچ وقت نمیگین something. این در واقع ing ing. مثل ما میگیم چطور میگیم بونگا. بونگ تو بونگا کار میکنه. بونگا نگهش میداریم something بونگا something something خب something یا میتونید در واقع جیرو حذف بکنید میتونید در واقع بگید something come on tell me something do something about it um, I don't know anything about it please do something do something پس میتونید جیرو حذف بکنید something یک فرم دیگر که شما داخل فیلم ها میشنوید در واقع به این صورته به جای something یا something میگن something یه در واقع میتونید شما بگین some و دوباره یه دونه m میشه some uh, come on say some man say some homie say some پس some همون something یا همون something هست پس اگه مثلا شنیدین که طرف گفتش um, I wanna do some cool for you I wanna do some cool for you m رو دوباره گفت some some I wanna do some cool for you بدونی some همون something هست در واقع خب این هم در مورد something در مورد dy در مورد dy زمانی که d و y رو شما دارین اول باید d باشه و بعد y میتونین d رو به صورت j تلفظ بکنید مثل did you میتونین بگین did you کاملا درسته یا میتونین بگین did you I told you I told you I called you I called you, I called your company, I walked you home, I'm glad you're okay, I'm glad you're okay, yeah, I'm glad you're okay. Pass D va Y ham da vo be in surat mitune, mitune in talafuz bokonit. 
یه نکته مهم در مورد that بگم بهتون بچه ها یا همون که زمانی که شما میگین that حواستون باشه که گفتم تی رو در آخر تلفظ نکنین کامل بلکه اون رو بیان یه مقدار در واقع کاهش بدید یعنی نگین that بگین that that یا نگهش دارین that زمانی که شما دارید یکم روانتر صحبت میکنید و در واقع دارید محاوره ای تر صحبت میکنید این رو میشنمید داخل فیلم که میگن that that I thought that I was wrong I didn't know that you were home did you know that I was something پس that به جای that این رو خیلی زیاد میشنمید تنفادش میشه th show up یا همون ای برعکس که میشه صدای a که میشه that 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 پس ما نمیگیم that I میگیم that I نمیگیم that you میگیم that you یا that you that you یا that you Uh, یه نکته مهم دیگه که هست این رو خیلی ها نمیدونن حتی خیلی از اساتید این رو نمیدونن یعنی این رو با جرعت ارز میکنم خدمتتون زمانی که در واقع شما T و W دارید زمانی که T و W هست شما نمیدین بگین هیچ, هیچ وقتی آمریکا رو نمیدین که بگین What was that? What was that? نمیدین بگین What was? It was It will من یا گفتم زمان که طرف عصبانی باشه یا که بخواد با تاکید صحبت بکنه میاد در واقع تی رو کامل تلفظ میکنه پس ما چیزی که باید یاد بگیریم اینه ما همونطور که گفتیم ما داریم reduced T به T reduction یعنی ما نمیگیم مثلا that بلکه میگیم that that زمان که W بعدش میاد نمیگیم that was میگیم that was یادت سکته خفیف that 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 was یادت میشتم این بعضی میگم that was man that was cool Really, that was you. That wasn't me. That was you. That wasn't me. And then again, what was that? Balke, what was that? Oh, what was that sound? What was that sound? What was that sound? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get, but we know. We get, but we know. But we know. But we. But we. Yeah, it was. How much did It was. It was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Man, it was cool. It was awesome. It was crazy. It was fun. It was uncool. Pass. It was. Bejaye. It was. That was. Bejaye. That was. Va dabar tarkib T va W. Don't let you there. Hi. 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 No, you're not getting live with them. Okay. I'm so sorry. I have no idea. So sorry. So sorry. What is going on? I apologize. It was for my side this time. It's okay. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. So I think it's Things good happen. now. Yeah, is of it? course. We got you. We got you, Krisha, clear. Uh, all right, Janela. So I think we've been actually Say going something. live. We've been doing this Can for I pretty much an hour, a solid an hour, I guess. And uh, so I just wanted yes. to thank you. I just wanted to be grateful to you to actually have you here on this Instagram live. That was really nice of you to accept our actually a request. That was really awesome to have you over here. And uh, you've been definitely of great help. It was really um, an honor actually having you. And I'm super pumped about having you. I'm super pumped about all the great knowledge that you shared. Hopefully we'll be able to contact soon. And uh, if there's anything you'd like to add, please go ahead. Yes, and I, I, first of all, I want to apologize because even I seem to have problems with connection. So I, I don't know why suddenly because the Wi-Fi here in Switzerland rocks. Um, but now it's just, so I apologize. Second of all, I enjoy my Instagram account soon. I and focus on the presentation so because whenever I go live, we talk about life and it's about talking and talking. King and you know we'd pick specific topics and, and I like what we did today um, and I would love next time we go live, so many examples like you just did today I loved it uh, yeah. like uh, you used a few examples and I wanted to add for example what was going on and what was that sometimes we don't say what but we say what In, instead of the whole word we say what what was that 
Like it's just W. So I would love you. I, I would love you to join my live soon so we can talk about that. Adding me, I I am honored. Anytime. <laughs> Thank you so much. Anytime. Anytime. Enjoyed it. And guys, you heard he's Chinese, and I'm so I might take your classes. It's perfect. <laughs> so that, all that's、right. all for me. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for、uh, being here, and、uh, have a good one. Have a good one too. See you. Have a good one. Bye. 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 اینه که ما دوره که در واقع داریم رو من یه معرفی بکنم دوره که در حال حاضر شما از طریق کانال اینستاگرام ما میتونید تهیه بکنید دوره مکالمات روزمره آمریکایی هست و این دوره برای افرادی هست که میخوان واقعا زبانشون رو به حد اعلی برسونن تمام مطالبی که میبینید همشون دستچین شده از دل فیلم ها و خونه های آمریکایی مطالبی نیست شما هر جایی بتونید پیدا بکنید چون در تخصص هر کسی نیست در واقع تیم قدرتمندی که ما داریم این رو در واقع دارن انجام میدن برای شما یک مجموعه فوق العاده آماده کردیم که این مجموعه رو میتونید در واقع خریداری بکنید چیزی رو که در واقع پیغامی رو که من پین کردم رو شما میتونید عدد دو رو در واقع به این شماره ارسال بکنید اگه میخواین توی دوره مکالمات روزمره ما در واقع ثبت نام بکنید با این شماره میتونید در ارتباط بشین که عدد دو رو در واقع بفرستید و این دوره فوق العاده رو میتونید دریافت بکنید دوره ای که واقعا منحصر به فرد بیش از 850 تا کلیپ در واقع از تمام فیلم ها آماده شده یک اصطلاح شما در چندین فیلم مختلف میبینید و تمام دوره ما ویدیوییه شما این کار رو انجام میدین ثبت نام رو انجام میدین وارد دوره تلگرام ما میشین اونجا به هر یک روز در میون برای شما مطالب ارسال میشه تماما ویدیویی هست و میتونید نهایت استفاده رو ببرید یک مجموعه لحجه هم در واقع ما داریم که تا قبل از این در واقع بیرون میاد مجموعه فوق العاده ای که واقعا بی‌نظیره از طریق فیلم ها هست خود من در واقع تمام قوانین گرامری قوانین لحجه رو برای شما توضیح میدم در قالب مثال های در واقع در قالب مثال های فراوون و مجموعه که شما صرف نظر از هر سطحی که هستید در واقع میتونید این رو در واقع لحجه آمریکایی کامل یاد بگیرید تمام مطالبی که ما میگیم در مورد لحجه آمریکایی تمامش پشتش قانونه یک قانون رو توضیح میدیم و در قالب مثال های فراون اون رو برای شما جا میندازیم مثل فلپتی که برای شما گفتیم که با یه تکنیک ساده شما به راحتی میتونید اون رو تلفظ بکنید صرف نظر از گویشی که در واقع دارید من چند تا سال در واقع جواب بدم واسه کسی که خارج از کشور هست راه دریافت دوره چیه ما در واقع درگاه پرداخت پیپل هم داریم شما با همون شما رو اگر یه پیغام بدین برای شما اطلاعات کامل رو در واقع ارسال میکنن که چطور بتونید از طریق پیپل خریداری بکنید با دوره آموزش شما میشه توی دانش توی دانشگاه ها مثلا آمریکا به راحتی ارتباط برقرار کرد هدف دوره ما همین هست هدف دوره مکالمات روزمره آمریکایی یا انگلی آمریکایی واقعی در واقع اینه که شما میتونید دنیای واقعی زبان واقعی زبان رو ببینید چیزی که شما در فیلم ها میبینید با چیزی که خوندین در کتاب ها با چیزی که حتی در آمریکا یا کانادا شما میبینید واقعا قابل قیاس نیست و این چیزی که ما روش دست گذاشتیم چون در تخصص ماست به شما مکالمات واقعی آمریکایی رو یاد میدیم که همون ها رو شما در چه دانشگاه چه در یک کشور انگلیسی زبان به راحتی میتونید در واقع ببینید خب از خارج از کشور چطور میشه خدمتتون عرض کردم شما را هم که ارسال کردم خدمتتون خب دوستان عزیز امیدوارم که از این لایف لذت برده باشین انشالله لایف های بعدی رو هم حتما تدارکش رو میبینیم هدف ما اینه که به شما کمک بکنیم زبانتون رو به سطح خیلی خوبی برسونید و امیدوارم که بتونیم در واقعی خدمتی بکنیم به شما عزیزان با, این با در واقع ارائه مطالبی که ادعا میکنیم واقعا هستیم امیدوارم که هر جاستین موفق باشین. و تا لایو بعدی شما رو به خداونده بزرگ میسپرم خدا نگهدار شب باشیم